There's a different physical quantity that we often care about called flux that relates to how much the vector field is, is crossing a path or pushing stuff across a path. This is going to give us a different way to interpret one-form fields in the plane. Let's consider what happens when we have some vector field F and we're looking at a path gamma and we want to know how much stuff F pushes across that path. Let's say that, as usual, our vector field is given by fxi plus fyj. Then what we're going to do is build the flux one form associated to f. This is denoted phi sub f, and it is given by fx dy minus fy dx. So given your vector field, your path, what this one form does is it takes in a tangent vector to your path, and it says how much is the vector field going across that tangent direction. So when the vector field and the path are perfectly aligned, well, you've got zero flux happening there. But when the vector field is crossing from left to right, that's positive flux. When the vector field is crossing your path from right to left, that is negative flux. And if you want to know what is the net flux along a path, some places it's positive, some places it's negative, then what do you do? You add it up. You integrate phi sub f over gamma. You integrate fx dy minus fy dx. That's a different way to integrate a one-form field and get something physically interesting. Now, remember, we've already seen work, and the differences between the work one form and the flux one form are worth contemplation. That work one form, alpha sub f, is, if you will, tangent to the vector field. It takes a dot product of the tangent vectors to your path with the vector field at every point and adds those up. In contrast, the flux one form is, if you will, orthogonal to the vector field. It's as if that flux one form is sort of a, a twisted or a rotated version of the work one form of that same vector field. Okay, so having these two pictures in your mind of a, a work one form and a flux one form, that's pretty useful. If these images help, that's great. You should be familiar with going back and forth between work and flux as these are both physical interpretations that we are going to be very interested in moving forward.